vote Amber. Howdy folks. Thank you for tuning in to Homesteading at the Black Sheep Meadow. I'm Brent. And I'm Amber. And we're gonna have a spooky one for you today. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited. <laughs> so what we're doing today is we're gonna take you along on a pumpkin carving contest. We've decided to have a friendly competition between the two of us on carving out some jack-o'-lanterns. And in doing that, we wanted, we kinda, you know, made the question to ourselves of where did the jack-o'-lantern come from? So I started doing a little bit of research and I found a really interesting article from Nat Geo that talked about, you know, how it has kind of been intertwined with Hollywood and the Headless Horseman and all of that, but it actually dates back to old world Ireland, Scotland, and England, mm -hmm. and it might have represented like the heads of your enemies rolling. So there's yep. kind of a goth kind of twist to that, where we've definitely kind of taken it the other way. It's more of a friendly symbol and a welcoming symbol now, and it's a fun tradition that a lot of people have. And I like the way they worded it, that it's along the way, the freaky folk tale, the natural phenomenons have intertwined to create a fascinating history that is part fact, part fiction, and all freakishly fun. <laughs> and I just like that. So I will link that article down below. I thought it was really cool. Give you a little bit of history on the jack-o'-lantern. So but, we're gonna get these carved out today. Mm -hmm. And as when we finish carving them out, Amber's gonna carve a pumpkin, I'm gonna carve a pumpkin, and then we're gonna need y'all to go down in the comments and vote for whose pumpkin is better. Yes. And if y'all are not a YouTube, if y'all don't have a YouTube account, I guess, you can always go to Facebook and on our Homesteading at the Black Sheep Meadow Facebook page, I will set up a poll there that also will allow you to vote for which pumpkin you think is best. Right. And this is just bragging rights, right? We're not, uh, we're not getting anything. No, the winners aren't achieving any awards. We're so. just kind of competitive people, so mm -hmm. we decided to do that. The other thing that we're working on is because we live kind of out in the middle of... We're very rural. We're very rural. The neighborhood kids that we do have are, are half a mile plus away. So I'm making little boo bags for them of candy and I'm just gonna go drop them off so I can spoil the neighborhood kids because I don't get any trick-or-treaters out here. Yep. I don't get to do that fun thing. <laughs> so, so let's get to carving yep. and uh, we'll put them on a time lapse yes. while we get this carved out. And um, I guess something else to mention too, every bit of this pumpkin is gonna go to some benefit here on the homestead. Uh, mm -hmm. All of the guts, everything that we carve out of it is going to go to the chickens, uh, which the chickens absolutely love. They do, the they pumpkins. really love it. They love all the squash it really. Right. Um, but after that, if the remains of this pumpkin, if as it decomposes, if we got enough of the pumpkin left over that's safe for the chickens, it's going to obviously still go to the chickens as a whole. If not, it's going to end up in the compost pile. Right. And the seeds and all of that are also very edible and people really enjoy those. You could absolutely process those down and roast them yourselves and have pumpkin seeds. We're just not huge fans of them. We've tried them. We've done them before. It works really great. It's just not something that we're yep. not, either one of us are fans of. Let's get to so, carving. Yeah. Do you want to tell them about the trick that you thought we had? So I thought I was going to one up on Amber <laughs> and uh, I've done some research on this topic for about a week now and I've read where it's actually smarter to carve out the hole in the bottom of the pumpkin rather than the top because where you cut it is going to start to decay first and if you cut it at the bottom it'll decay from the bottom up instead of the top down therefore preserving the pumpkin for a longer period of time that and it gives you a flat surface for your candle or light or anything like that to sit on versus trying to get a flat surface inside your pumpkin and it looks prettier i think with the seal yep. with the stem the Fixed. top part staying whole yeah so, so let's he, get the carving he thought he had a one up on me and i already knew that trick <laughs> yeah, let's get the carving. <laughs>
Alrighty folks, so we got the pumpkin carving done and on y'all's left is Amber's pumpkin and on y'all's right is my pumpkin, yes. Brent's. I had so much fun doing this. It's kind of one of those things that takes you back to being a kid and getting to just kind of enjoy life for a minute. I think it really just takes your mind off the, the constant work and seriousness of everything that's going on in the homestead too. You know, bring yes. some, some events back into life that just, mm -hmm. you know, make you, they're enjoyable events, make yes. you happy something to bring a little joy to the world so folks if y'all wouldn't remind or remember please go down in the comments vote for us if y'all don't have a youtube account then go to our facebook uh, page homesteading at the black sheep meadow i'm gonna set up a poll there before as y'all are watching this video the poll will already be set up in the uh, timeline there mm -hmm. so uh, we'll we want to see like we're really competitive so <laughs> please vote amber yeah please <laughs> vote, vote brent uh, this one but we're we're going to do some video of yeah. these at night. We'll light them up with some candles because I think that's really where they're going to shine. Um, I'm excited. Hopefully yep. you guys have some cool, fun Halloween traditions like this that you guys take a break and enjoy mm -hmm. everything with. We appreciate you guys hanging out and watching with us. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next week. Vote Amber. All right, since we cut these pumpkins open from the bottom, we're gonna be able to set these directly over the candles. But uh, we're putting them on a wooden porch and I don't want the candles directly on the wooden porch, so I got some old jar lids to set the candles on so the porch doesn't get too hot. close together the pumpkin is right all right y'all pumpkin on the right vote for Brent pumpkin on the left vote for Amber let us know what y'all think. Thank you. 